my name is Shooter Templar 591 and I am back playing Spiral the Reignited Trilogy. Uh, last time I left off, we actually beat Toasty, who is the boss of this level, of the Artisan Homeworld. So we're actually going to see the Balloonist, um, because I think I've got everything. 100%, 100%, 100%, yep, we've got everything, we've got all the skill points. So yeah, we are going to go to the Balloonist, and we are going to go to the next world, which I think is the Peacekeeper's world. Um, with that being said, guys, while I'm getting over there, I do, you know, just want to make this quick announcement, you know, with everything going on with the coronavirus, you know, guys, stay ha stay safe, stay healthy, you know, try to stay happy as possible, um, you know, it's kind of know it's high with everyone being in quarantine and not being able to see family, friends and stuff, but please follow the, the advice of the professionals out there, there's, they're professionals for a reason, as much as we don't like it. Uh, this is their job, and they're doing this because they want everyone to be safe. So, that's all I'm going to say on that. We're going to go to the Blueness here, and we're going to head on to the next world. Wow! I see you've been busy rescuing dragons, Spyro. I don't know how to feel about this. The Blueness in the original Spyro games, uh, Spyro 1 actually, because there's none in the other two, did not have a voice. And... I don't know how I feel about this voice. He's a, he has a very like dippy voice. You may travel to the peacekeeper's world if you like. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Oh, I also like how he's named Marco. Obviously, a reference to Marco Polo. Nice. Hop on, Spyro. Okay, and we got a trophy. <laughs> like how we there was a reaction when we jumped on his head. I don't think in the I think the original like, he moved aside, so interesting. But uh oh, they got a little fireworks. Not fireworks. Got a little fire going. So yeah, I don't believe that was in the original either. So once again, looking very very cool. Um, I'm wondering how he got in the like hot air balloon because we had to jump on him and I know he's since he's standing on two legs he's a little taller but I think even if Spyro stood on his too long to like if he stood as a biped and not a quadruped he still wouldn't be um, tall enough to get in the in the balloon anyways I guess that's besides the point we are here in the peacekeepers world let us get the first dragon oh they went to a military scene too oh I know why Yep. Uh, Titan. Welcome to Peacekeepers. Look how our treasure has been stolen and turned against us. Please, recover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure. Got it. <laughs> okay. I am I am liking this place so far. We got like a kind of like round shield here with four arrows. We got this military looking guy. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, he's gonna try to hit me with a spear. So these guys definitely are more aggressive than the ones in uh, the Artisan's world. The Artisan's world, those guys are very like, more passive, more like, hey, I'm gonna try to run, run away, I'm scared to spiral. These guys are like, nope, we're military guys. So they, they kind of got uniforms of like, the 17th century, 16th century, like, how, what do you what would you call that age? The gunpowder age? But they have spears, which is kind of funny. Does he? Does he have like a gem as as like what he's using that? Or is that supposed to be a giant match? I think it's supposed to be a giant match. It's a little hot for that get up though. Like that head has to be very hot. Oh, and you can still yes, you can still use a cannon. This is amazing. Uh, okay. Uh, let's do. Let's go to the other side. How do you? There we go. Oh, I got him! Nice. <laughs> and he, he had a specific dance animation for that. That's pretty cool. Ah, oh, beautiful. Oh, not. Oh, that's kind of cool. They do like this loop before they die. That is really neat. We got rabbits. Okay. Cacti. Kind of shrivel up. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I don't know what, what uh, level we're gonna go to first um, after the homeworld because I think the homeworld is gonna probably be this this episode and then we'll go from there. 
Oh yeah, you can get these guys. How do you get them to run in? I gotta get them to run in the tents. Okay. Ah, so these guys will automatically run into the tents. Oh, re <laughs> nice. They still do the same thing they did in the original. Just show you their bums. Oh, this guy's scared. Oh, you're gonna shoot. I don't know what happened there. That's kind of funny. He's scared, and then if he she turns around, he shows you his bum. Interesting. Oh, killed one too many guys to get him to go into the uh, tent. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Good point. Yeah, now. If you think I'm letting you fire off that cannon, you're out of it. No, I don't want to see your bum, man. Stop showing me your bum. Why? Look, I, Spyro just doesn't swing that way. I am Spyro. I do not swing that way. I am just, you know, not that there's anything wrong with that, you know. If you want to, uh, you know, how can I put this? Um, hmm. If you want to take a, an orc or a nork as your lover, that is up to your personal choice. My personal choice is playing in Spiral is that's not happening. What the heck is this? Is it like a geyser or something? Can this hurt me? Okay, the answer is yes. The answer is that is, can those hurt me is yes. Let's go grab this dragon. Uh, let's see who we got. And it is... Magnus? Magnus? Oh. Hey, Spyro! Sparks the Dragonfly has been doing a good job protecting you. Make sure to keep him strong by feeding him lots of butterflies. I'm just loving these dragons in this in the Peacekeeper's world. I'm I'm sorry. But they just made a dragon a sumo wrestler, and I just What? Okay, Sparks, don't do your job. Don't collect the, the gems for me. But like I was saying, there's a... A dragon is a sumo wrestler. I, you know... I, I think I've seen it all. I think, you know what? I can die a happy person now. Because I have officially seen it all. Um, humanity, we don't need to do anymore. We have, uh... We have eclipsed everything. Oh. Hmm. So that's too far away. Okay. How am I gonna get this one here? That's what really I'm trying to do. So it's gotta be... Hmm. Oh, those are some gems I missed. I'm trying to think. I don't see... Yeah, I don't see one cannon around here that I could get to do that. Or oh, is this one with a key? No, it doesn't have a key. And it's a smaller one, too. Usually the, the ones with the keys are bigger, so... It's definitely... doesn't have a key. Oh, I gotta use... yeah. I gotta use the cannon to take this out. I like how they uh, were nice enough to paint a giant bullseye here. Oh, is that an A guy in the dip? He is an A guy in the distance. I'm gonna have to deal with that, too. That's, can I get around this way? Oh, okay. Cool, I can. Coolio. These gens, yeah, they made a. I, I'm just kind of wondering what they're gonna with this next dragon. Oh, I did not make that. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm I'm kind of um, anticipating, trying to anticipate the the third dragon here. The first one, the first one was like a Viking. The second one was like a sumo wrestler. Like, ooh, I'm kind of spaded press. Yeah, that's kind of cool. This guy looks like he's kind of guarding the treasure and everything. Can I? If I ram these, can I do the same thing? Oh, yeah. Okay. So I don't have to flame them. I just didn't think... I was flaming them partly because I didn't think um, I would have enough time to get the gem. I think in the original, just because of how the physics and everything worked... Um, oh, I missed them over here. Good thing I came back. Um, if you rammed them, you'd have like a little... I don't think... I wouldn't... I want to say hit stun, but I don't think it, that's what you would call it. Um, not hit stun, but basically you would be locked into the animation, so you wouldn't actually have enough time to actually come 
come back um, and be able to basically get out of that animation and then grab the gem. Oh yeah, that is a... I'm gonna grab this first and I'm come back in for you. Okay, now. Well done, Spyro. Keep up the good work and I know you'll fulfill your destiny. Destiny? I just want to kick some. Just toast those <laughs> enemies and collect the treasure. See, and now, okay, I got all the dragons. That guy reminded me of pirate. I don't know if this was just a pirate patch or what. Yeah, well, who's laughing now? Yeah. Who's laughing now, man? Not so funny. Not so big. Oh, maybe I do need the key? Because there's a key here, so maybe that's what that one was for, but it didn't seem like a big chest, so I didn't think it needed a key. But apparently, maybe it does. No, because I probably go in here, and that's where the key one is for. Let's see. Yep. Choose a key. Grab the treasure. Okay. Cool. So, 12 more. So, let's see here. So, I gotta think of how I can get a cannon to fire at that point. That one. I'm trying to think. So there's a cannon here and here. I'm trying to see if maybe is this some other cannons I missed? I also like those guys. Um, just kind of going through a thought I had before that I didn't mention. Why I'm looking for a way to open up this chest. Um, the fact that like they stay, they start all tough. Those guys I just ran by, and then the minute you kill one of them, they're like, "Oh man, we're out." Nope. This is too too real, too tough, too real. Yeah, what? It's gotta be this one. Yeah, okay. And there we go. That should be it. Wait, no. So there's seven more. Yeah, a red one's five. And then the other, no. Red one's two? I'm trying to think, because that was seven. Yeah, my, my brain is just like, not not processing those numbers. I'm trying to do the math and just for whatever reason my brain's like, uh, nope. I'm not doing the math. And it's simple math. It's like, this is like grammar school math. So I'm kind of feel ashamed right now, but I am too busy looking for treasure to really well on that so I'm just gonna kind of uh, take a look around I do like the, the desert vibe of this homeworld it's definitely a really nice stock contrast to the previous one um, which was more like a grassland it, that one was more yeah, I guess what you would think of as your stereotypical like um, fantasy setting you know kind of like a lush playing kind of place so you know this is not as is uh how can i put this you don't usually get a kind of ecstatic in these kind of games like this um usually it's you know high planes usually you get your frozen level your high plane level um things like that oh fuck came back i hear rabbits am i just being stupid Hmm, okay, maybe. Where are the other gems? There's like seven of them. But going back, oh, there they are. Well, the, not, that's not the gems. Those are the rabbits I were hearing. Um, going back to what I was saying. Yeah, so this gives me like a southwestern vibe. Like, um, yeah, like the southwestern. And when I see southwestern vibe, I mean like southwestern United States. So, like, New Mexico, Mexico, you know, that whole, like, desert area down there, um, kind of, even a little, even a little aztec -y kind of, and maybe that's just me conflating with the Southwest with the Aztecs and Mexico and all that, um, but kind of, kind of get that vibe with this too, so, it's kind of, in the, it's really interesting aesthetic, like we talked about before, um, that you normally don't see. Is there maybe like, hmm, maybe they're like, uh, 
Savage or somewhere I missed. Maybe like some of the gems fell into the water. This like putrid water and because I didn't grab them, they'll respawn when I reload the game. I don't know. That's the second time I did that. Okay, cool. Let me grab, grab some more rabbits. Uh, Spock's gonna do his job and eat the butterflies. I mean, he also before didn't do his job when he was supposed to uh, pick up the gems. I don't know what's going on with Spock. He's just not doing what he wants, needs to. He's just doing what he wants to. Oh, did I not kill these guys? That'll do it. Yeah, I, and I guess that makes sense. So the only guys alive. Why would, when I die, why would they be the only ones that spawned? Okay, anyways, guys, my name has been Channel Templar 591. And as always, guys, especially with everything going now, now, have a great day.